Hello and welcome. Right then, we're going to get stuck in straight away. Let's get cracking. Yeah, well, that wasn't bad, actually. Oh, yeah, that's one thing I'm going to say. Obviously, going forwards, Giants have nerfed, I believe, Giants have nerfed things like the Big Bag Handler. They now haven't got the depth that they used to have. They used to be able to go three or four deep. Um for like grabbing three or four bales you can't do that anymore you can only go too deep why can I not I would have thought that was maybe maybe it's not wow it drops it off like that means I'm going to have to like do a silly cheaty thing knock the which is not easy to do with a top liner seriously we dropped it off like that but we can't pick it up like that. Yeah, so um, things are... Ah, oh, it's not going to work like that. Come on, I'm going to need something smaller. And it's a bit agile, I think. Yeah, so going forwards you can see a lot more of me not using the big back handler. Because it's nerfed. Yeah, it's no longer the thing it was, which I suppose I, I don't yeah, I'm not going to like say, oh, George, because like in a way, I suppose it detracts slightly, it's it's still got a place, it really has um, for like picking things up big bags and all the rest of it, which is what it's designed to do right, so now we'll drop that off for it but for picking up bales and making it easy is not really what it was supposed to be, hence the title Big Bag Handler. Yeah, so I yeah, can't really say, oh, giants are rude and th things, blah, 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 because it's, no, it's probably going back to what it should be. A very useful thing for, but not necessarily for bales. So, yeah, round bales are going to be fun. I might even go for a grab, which is going to take an absolute age if we're manual bail handling. So I'll be grabbing an Anderson as soon as I possibly can. Oh, no, that's always a mistake. Don't follow with a uh, top liner. It's the driver, so they said the rubbish. But it'll, it'll look like a demon-possessed creature. So we'll follow with the uh, tractor. I think... Uh, we're not going to dump this first. I think that's probably sensible. We wouldn't take almost a third of a full trailer to your next field. It looks fairly hefty. This is a big size field. It's a real cracker. Yeah, I think we might bail. So, point in question, we're going to be grabbing. You can still go two deep bales. Um, first time I used it, I thought, ooh, you can only do one. But I think you can actually do two deep. So you could grab two at a time, which is not terrible. Round bales I always find the worst, because there's you can grab two with the right kind of spike. I saw I saw in real life the other day a farmer with a triple where he'd literally got uh, all three spikes with a bale on. I don't know how he would do that. He must have to go to a stack and then grab three off them. That's the only way you could make that work. I was quite intrigued. I thought that's interesting. Right, so we go. Right, is there a sneaky road? No, it goes the wrong way. No, no, that goes. Yeah, that grass field ahead of us is equally nice, but then placement of the bit of the um, the farm supply production. That yeah, if it's is it still called that? I think it is. I think the Emtana still is. Because the Cavalier Roy was also called Farm Supply Production and it's it's had the name change. So I think we take a right in the middle of town with a combine harvester. Good job, it's a big road. Yeah, go wide as you have to with something like this. And we'll switch the indicator off before everyone shouts at me. Okay, maybe this isn't where we're supposed to go in. 
Now there is an entrance though of sorts. So this will do me. Now then let's uh, rescue our worker who is going to go right to the back of us. a little bit tight. Smashing that will do nicely. So we will, as we go around the field, find the proper entrance, of course. But, uh, right. Yeah, that's not a bad angle. That's something I've got a little bit better at, he says, as he rolls over the thing. Yeah, sort of like putting your header trailer at the I won't say there's not a right and a wrong place but where you can get to it where you're supposed to without well it depends on the field some fields are just impossible you just literally land straight on the crop and there's no way you can stick your header in unless you drop it with a telehandler or a front loader with a big bag handler yeah that's one very useful thing they got it right it is time to go back into that time lapse and I'm doing this all myself as, yes, Drosloth is still enabled. So I'm going to say my words. I thought we'd get a big harvest in. Obviously, we've fed the animals and uh, we've removed the clamps because we're not going that way. I'm just. It's, I find the Omatan of the farm supply production so useful for many things. Not only its seeds, the seed making abilities, it's not its number one ability, but it is still very useful. And it's a good business making seeds from wheat. Because sweets very you get a lot of it. Really, these are quite two nice fields, gotta be honest. Yeah, I'm well impressed with how big the fields are that we get in. So yeah. Very, very nice. Right anyway, yes, get this in. Do the uh, Seeds, not sure. Going BGA. It is. It does lend itself to farming in general. Really, to have one of our own little plants built by a fantastic company called Disturb Simulations. Yeah, we've made a really decent BGA that is cracking for a farmer, uh, and also we can afford it. Really. So. Yeah, so we've afforded, thanks to selling the clamps, our Omatana. There is another thing you could do, and that is to go directly into... Yeah, there's a fertiliser plant that uses silage, so that's an option too. And we still buy ours in. Yet, yeah, it's, it's the only thing in the game that will convert and do something with silage. Because obviously, normally we use silage for either a BGA or for feeding. Well, if we're going to buy our feed in, it's not a bad thing to actually have the use for it. Fertiliser business is good, but the plant's expensive, so we'd have to... Yeah. We could afford it now that we have sold that. We couldn't have done before. We would have been on the edge of being able to afford it. But I still needed the, the Omatana, so it's going to be a bit of a stretch to bring the... I think I'm going to bail the bottom field before we sell it, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm not, not going to play cleverly. We'll bale the grass, and we'll stick the grass bales, and we'll drop them in the uh, Omatana to make silage and digestate. To yes, that's I. To be honest, that's that's the farm supply production secret weapon is the fact that it makes so much digestate from grass. So we're not going to miss out on that. Then when we've done one harvest on the bottom field, we're going to sell it and buy one of the fields up this end of the map. So the Omaton is absolutely more useful because we don't have to trail bale um, bales. We could probably go loose on that grass field that we parked at right next to. So yeah, it's smaller. It is. I recognise that. So yes, and I am going to stick. I'm going to use the original equipment. It seems silly to me to buy a 6.5 meter, even though it's not going to cost us a lot. When you've got a 4.7, I 
like two thirds, three quarters of the same thing that you've got something already. So why would you go out and buy a 6.5 when you might later get one that's bigger? It just seems false economy to like buy twice when you might get one that's in the second hand equipment sales or you might get a bit of a windfall and you think I really need a wind trower. You know, you might get one of those mowers on the sales that's got a windrowing ability. So, yeah. And there's also a, tiny, a little, mind you know, I'd still want a windrower. There's that tiny little John Deere, which is very reasonable. It's a mower. It's only got a 4.7 meter header. Now, it does windrow, but to me, it's pointless. Why, why would I want to windrow such a tiny cut? Because you can have to windrow it again. I don't want to be trace, chasing over a field with a 4.7 meter spacing. It's just, it's just really sort of pointless to me, to me personally. I, but maybe it's because I'm always go usually gone bigger farms. Perhaps it's, but I, I don't know. It's going to take you twice as long to actually do it. So yeah, Windsor, I think for that tiny size is, I think, necessary really. So yeah. I seem to have not gone into a time lapse. Yeah, but it, it's, I think it is important. I mean, this is sort of opinion. I mean, there is no right and wrong. So it's if I, I'm not trying to offend anybody who does think that's uh, good enough, because you know it, it is what it is. If you've got a tiny field, but I still think, I suppose, yeah, it, it's it's much of a muchness. If it windrows naturally, it saves you windrowing. Let's be honest, that's the real thing. But it's a small windrow, so you've still got a lot of chasing around the field. But you've already windrowed. So it is, it's not pointless, it's just... It's like... I don't know. It's still a lot of work. I mean, all farming is a lot of work, but obviously the entire idea is that you build up so that you don't have quite so much work. You make your job easier, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying it very well. Yeah, all pieces of equipment, you know, they're a little bit bigger or all of that type of stuff. So try to make your job as a farmer more efficient is really the, the byword. So it's inefficient, a 4.7 metre windrow, because it's so, it's really is very small, let's be honest. But at the beginning, it does save you running around the field and windrowing. So it does two jobs. No matter how you try to, like, say, ooh, it still does two jobs for the price of one, and that is good. So it's not pointless, but I just wish it was a little bigger. If it was a six meter or something like that. You can usually charge through town with it being such a small header, so it is swings and roundabouts. This is a, a smaller field, but it is still a good size field. I don't mind coming down for this type of field. Yeah, I mean, I know my perfect farm is one where obviously you just roll out and everything's around you well I, I recognize that most farmers don't get that kind of yeah that doesn't happen very often so but I, I mean I'd hate to go from one end of the map to the other that to me is yeah quite awful right let's see if we can cut off at this corner have we enough storage space to actually do that I would say just outside we do a nice clean cut like that we'll get that ready we'll crack on yeah so the straw we're going to get off in another session I'm sure I think yeah I mean I suppose that that's what I'm saying if you you either design your farm around your productions in which case it does pay you to actually design your fields around your productions that makes a certain amount of sense really so really if you were going to think of we've got a production there it would lend itself to those three fields which I can't say anything about the field unless it's a bit it's a poor field but it's a fairly it's bigger than our other one so just to think yeah it is a little bit bigger
It's also got a bit of bit of forest at the end. So the Omatana's right there. No, it's not. It's there. Sorry, I think it's there. Yeah, so that would lend itself to those there. Or oh, I don't know what that is. That's a strange thing. I don't know. Field one's not bad. Actually, I suppose. I mean, you could... We might find that we shift the Omatana, sell it quickly, have it dismantled and brought somewhere else, and think design it a bit better. Or we have a second one built, one or the other. Right, anyway, this time I'm going to go into a time lapse. Yep. Yeah. We'll see you guys, gals, on the other side.
and that is a wrap for the first session yeah absolutely we will obviously grab the straw and all the rest of it how well did we do how well did we do in total quite a lot actually wow it's already done a lot of seeds so nearly 40 tons of wheat so that's going to really give us an all a fantastic yeah i think design I do like to sort of think if we're going to sort of do it i think field one is good but i think it's a little bit out and i do think i am right about 35 it is a cracking field though but i'd like to replace it if with something else that's similar that's a bit of a weird shape but i suppose you could use that as for productions and have that as the grass field it is smaller, but then it's not really. If you look closely at the actual grass you've got on field 35, it is actually quite small. And that's not far off different. What's the difference in price? Actually, almost the same. But I am going to be clever. We are going to grab the grass off that. And then I think we will buy field 32. It's at almost the same price. 159. 166 so yeah i'm gonna uh, also definitely gonna sell field one i don't think i'll be able to feel afford like field 19 from that yeah i'm trying to think yeah that's true yeah that would still work i mean i might buy that as a i mean field 33 is a very nice field actually it's about the same as 32 it's nice but i'm just thinking that also it is grass i think so let's have a quick look I do like these sessions not to be just work, where you just worked and then... Oh, I might be right, actually. It looks more like forestry. Not grass. Or is the... Mm, we shall see. I think it is. I think it's a forest. In which case... It is. Yeah, it is. It's a forest, isn't it? It's not grass. But we could move it for productions and have it as a, it's not and it's not very flat. It's not it's not awful either. I don't know. I think that'd be more trouble than it's worth. It's weird sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it does. It's it's a little bit. It's, in fact, that's an entire forest. It's it's not a grass at all. So in that case, I don't think we'll go for that weird shaped field at all. It's not grass, is it? No, you can see now it's darker. So, if that is the case, I think what we'll do is we will do 35. Yeah, there is a bit of spare, but it's on the wrong side. I am right. So try the farm, yeah, that's the... I suppose there is that one, field 34. And then that way, we don't need to sell one, because it's actually sort of in a central clump. In which case, we don't want that one. We will want to shift that to more like there. But we can't afford to do... I suppose we could afford to do this, but not at the minute, because we've got seeds in it. So I think back end, it's going to be not worth quite so much. We'll have the farm supply production taken to pieces or craned over here. Yeah, we'll buy this one, I think. It, then it's more like it joins quite well. The fields are almost... So you could have one farm supply production sort of in that corner where there's a bit of wasted... Yeah, it's hard to do a corner like that, so I wouldn't mind if I wasted that corner. Stuck the farm supply production there, and then it's in between this. And if it's grass, it doesn't matter if you run across it either. So that lends itself, and it's not that much difference in price to that one. I mean, sorry, not in price. I do like the fact that's got more area around it, but it's still a trek. So the, I like central if possible. So if we can make this work better, I'll keep field one by field 34 and um, actually probably have this clump no matter how good or bad they are oh here's a field so what is that then that colour that's not really a field but really is a field that's, is it a animal enclosure just the last thing we'll do before I scoop but yeah just I th I'd like to do I do like to do my farms by design Really now, so it's that one there. It is, it is a pasture, right? Okay. Oh, I don't think it's a pasture actually. It looks like a. But you'll not see anything about it, will you? Until but I'm sure I saw a shed. Ah, yeah, but not. It's nothing to do with. Oh, it is. No, it is milk churns. Yeah, this is a bit of a. I like it. It's a nice design. So there is this as well. Let's have a look. How much is field 40? Is 
a hundred thousand. We don't obviously know. Ah, so we could do that actually. Right, before we go, we're going to save the game. Let's have a sneaky look. Yeah, this is not going to happen, but it, it's sort of like, oh, no, that's not what you need at all. Yeah, this we could actually have a look by it, and then it didn't really happen. Just so as we can see, actually, because you've got to do this, really, to see what you've actually got. So it's got animals in as well. So let's have a look. Eight, Holstein, in a cow pasture. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about cow pastures... What is the total? How much can you have? Hmm. We need to be in the right place. Where is the right place? Be where the buying thing is, which is probably at the gate. Yeah, you need to actually be standing on the threshold, don't you, for it to show the information about it. Hmm. Okay. 80. Yeah. So 80 animals in that. So that's never going to have happened. I so say I'm not a massive fan of pastures. But it's not bad for overflowing from a, um, something to sort of like make, to fatten your cows up whilst you're... But it, it's, I often do fertiliser business, so therefore... But I suppose, yeah, I've got to change the way that I do things, really. Because pastures are still good. Yeah, they are. Right, so then, that's where I'm going to leave it. We've got a lot of work to do on the straw. We will be keeping all of the equipment that we've got. Because so, it is worthless, really. Yeah, the money will have gone next time. Because obviously we won't really have bought that at all. So, all that remains to be saying for this uh, first session is thank you very much for watching. Truly do hope you can stick with me on this journey. And I'm going to say goodbye for now.